Where you guys from? This group right here. Where you guys from? You. You. Oh. Oh. You're from Portland. Um, where are you from? I mean, well, clearly. Um, I'm from New York, you know, and um, I, uh, in New York, I, I never met an Armenian in my life until I moved here. Then I moved, yeah, in, in New York, I never met an Armenian. You know, I'm from the hood, I'm in the South Bronx, you know? Um, and when I moved here, I, I, I was like, who are these people? You know, like, and my friend was like, what do you mean? I was like, they just be at Starbucks all day taking shots of coffee. <laughs> and they got the nicest fucking cars, but no hairlines, and... <laughs> And they always stare at me, but they never say anything. But I know they want some. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I dated an Armenian dude. It was weird. It, we, we lasted like, like one month. It was, it was real weird. Because he would like say stuff and be like, I, listen, I don't mean to offend you, okay? Just listen, okay? Wait, wait. Listen. I want to tell you something, okay? And I'm like, what? I want to have sex. That's called being a gentleman? Yeah, but he was like this big. I'm like, listen, fam. <laughs> I, I want to be nasty. <laughs> Armenians, you guys talk with your hands a lot. It's like you say half the sentence and the rest is this. And we're supposed to just know. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing tonight? I'm going. <laughs> I had this older Armenian lady. She cursed me out in traffic because I cut her off. I had with like a, my car had gotten hit and I had like a rental, it was like a like a um a Kia. I was driving like a little Kia. And this lady, this older Armenian woman, she's at the light and she just has her signal on, but she won't fucking turn. And it's like five blocks down, her signal on, she not fucking turning. Like she forgot the fucking signal was on, right? She's just driving. So she was just driving so slow and I'm late for work, so I cut her the fuck off, right? And I realized you can't do that. This motherfucker met me at the light, the next light, rolled down her window and cursed me the fuck out. She said, what are you doing? You don't cut me. You can't cut me. You driving, I driving Mercedes Benz. You driving Kia. You don't cut people this car. You don't cut people this car. You don't. I cut you. You don't cut me. Why do you, why do you like this, eh? Why? I said, I said, I said, miss, I don't got fucking time for you today. I have time for you. You hear me? So she pissed me off, so I cut her off again. <laughs> this motherfucker sped past me and like went in front of my car like a T, like I couldn't move. Stopped her car at the fucking light and got out the car and said, I asked you, what is, what's wrong with you, huh? Why do you keep cutting me, why? What do you want, what do you want? You, you're not happy with life, huh? Huh? I rolled my window down. <laughs> she looked at me. She goes, oh, you're such a beautiful girl. What are you caught? Huh? <laughs> oh, I know what you caught. You don't have husband. <laughs> I said, why would you say that? Because husband don't let you drive Kia. No good husband. <laughs> he don't let you drive. She wound up being really sweet. I found out she was a nanny, and then she had my daughter for like three years. She was like the nanny for my daughter for three years. She was, she was really sweet. Um, she used to cook for me all the time. Every time I picked my daughter up, she would have like food. Like, you need food, you hungry. I cook. I said, what's your name? My name I'm Rose. I said, what's your real name? You, you can't pronounce, why I tell you? Why I tell you waste time? No, I, I, I love her, I'm still friends with her to this day. Um, she tried to hook me up with her son too. You don't have husband, my son don't have wife, he need papers. I'd pay good, I'd pay good. Thing. Listen, I paid good, you buy Mercedes, right? She's so sweet. I still talk to her. She's coming. I need a. <laughs> Maybe.